Welcome to the Red Armband Gang Certified PvP Tip Series. In this series, I'll be teaching you things that most average players fail to incorporate into their own gameplay. I believe these concepts will be very important in becoming a good player rather than just an average player. As always, let me find out. Spawns and pathing are some of the most important concepts in Tarkov, and most of the time are even more important than mechanical skill. If you want to be able to move around any map in Tarkov with confidence, you need to learn the spawns as well as the areas where players are going to commonly rotate from those specific spawns. If you can use this information to outplay your opponent, you will often win the fight before it even happens. I think that mapgenie.io slash Tarkov, I'll link this in the description for you guys, is the um, definitely the best way to see all the spawn locations and just learn anything about any given map. So say... um. Interchange has some some pretty simple spawns. What you want to do here is go to this website and hit hide all here on the left and then scroll down to spawn point and this is going to show you all the all the spawns on the map. Now obviously all of these spawns won't be active in any given raid, but what you can do is keep in mind where you are spawning when you're playing and then um because you know where all these spawns are, you can just from experience learn where other PMCs are often spawning in relationship to your spawn and then start anticipating those fights that you're getting and position yourself better to kill these PMCs when they're not expecting it. Map Genie is also really good for showing any loot or anything on the map. Like you can see where, where food even spawns on interchange, all the med spawns on interchange. And this goes for every other map as well. You can, you can show literally anything, weapon boxes, anything you're looking for. It's a really good tool. It, it helped me a lot when I was learning the game. You can even hover over things. You can see, um, like it'll tell you the size of the weapon box, right? And then say for valuable spawns, I know this was really good when I was learning. You can zoom in and it'll show you like an RFID reader, exactly graphics card, what, whatever spawns in these locations. And so it's really helpful. So all of this sounds like it makes sense, but how does it actually look in action? Here's an aggressive path I like to run on labs, as well as some examples from live gameplay on my stream. So in this raid, I spawned by server and hangar on labs. So what I'm going to do is push towards the opposite side of the map, right? In order to catch people off guard and push their spawn when they don't expect me to. So I'm going to quickly get out of my side of the map. What I like to do is come up here. Right now I'm listening for freezer spawn, right? I'm going to check and make sure nobody's running like a uh, suicide pushing red, right? I'm looking for all this, looking for all this. And then my goal here is to check parking button on my way to see if anybody pushed out of elbow. So often I'd make this push and I'll see that elbow's open, right? If that door's open there, I'll know that they more than likely pushed up to parking button and I can come up here and get a kill or they're at dome or headed to blue and they went through opposite elbow there. So you can use this spawn information to, um, just get information on people as they spawn and when they're they're still like pre-medding don't really expect it you can pick up a ton of easy kills just um that's just one example of the great variety of things that you can do with this information they're playing they're not playing on an air fryer actually they're playing on the um you know like the screens that you order off of inside the mcdonald's that's what they're playing target off of right now and they're probably about to kill me on that thing too go to marco Got schmooved on, dude. We ride him while he loots. <gasps> look, look, look. Steel Team Six operative. 
We're operating. Oh, you're down. <gasps> that was awful, man. Obviously, I won't be able to show you my pathing for every spawn on every map, but the fact of the matter is that these rotations are something you need to develop yourself just by playing and experience the game and by watching experienced players. If you're interested in more tips videos like these or even just aggressive Tarkov gameplay, be sure to subscribe and check out my Twitch channel where I stream every day. Link in description. Thank <laughs> you.